for this case, we have a patient who has a history of a CVA. The sonographer starts out with a dual screen image of the common carotid proximally in both transverse and long axis. And there's a color image. You could turn down the overall 2D gain here. It's a little bright posteriorly. And that would also involve um, possibly turning down the uh, TGCs here to get rid of some of this artifact within the artery, artery lumen. And here they take a spectral Doppler waveform at the proximal common, and you'll notice the abnormal waveform. So immediately you should be thinking there is a problem upstream. Because remember, if you have a maybe a sharp upstroke without any diastolic flow, you get this is likely due to a uh, distal obstruction of some sort. Here's again a distal CCA, and we could clean this up to get rid of the uh, echoes within the lumen. You can see that is definitely artifact as the color fills the uh, lumen almost entirely. We could probably turn the gain up slightly or decrease the PRF here to make that fill. And look at this waveform. Again, we have a, this is a abnormal waveform here. You have that sharp upstroke, but there's hardly any diastolic flow. So that should give you a clear clue as to what's going on upstream. And then we get to the bifurcation, and you can see here, this is the ICA and ECA, and that ICA looks pretty filled, so you should be thinking uh, near occlusion, if not total occlusion at this point. And there's your color Doppler that shows no flow in the ICA. And this is a pretty dramatic uh, image here. You can see there's just nothing but a thrombus-filled uh, lumen. And it is pretty much from the beginning of the uh, bulb, bulbous portion of the ICA and on through. Uh, we could turn down the overall gain here as well. Now the sonographer has employed the color Doppler and turned down the PRF, so that gives you a good idea that this is uh, totally occluded. We could also turn on the power Doppler and put a uh, spectral uh, gate within that lumen, but we've got a pretty good indication that that is totally occluded. And here's the ECA normal waveform for an ECA. There is some increased diastolic flow, however. And we move on to the vertebrals or anti-grade. And now we move to the left side, again beginning at the proximal common in transverse and long axis. You can see the color and uh, spectral Doppler here. Velocities are pretty decent. Normal waveform, fairly normal waveform. A little bit of intimal thickening. Very mild. Another just teaching point would be we could increase our or decrease our uh, spectral Doppler here to make the actual waveform fill more of the window. It seems to be awfully small. And that's a technique thing. And here's the bifurcation. You can see here the ICA with some calcified plaque and we know it's calcified because of the shadowing happening posteriorly from these uh, plaques right here, and there's a little bit on the ECA, or possibly coming from this area. Mm -hmm. 
We have fairly normal waveforms through the ICA on the left side. Uh, technique or style point would be to clean up the actual image here to show clear color through the lumen and um, and catching it in the systolic cycle. This is, yeah, you can't really tell where the gate is, but uh, it could have been that it was a difficult patient, the patient was moving about, but these are more style points just to kind of give the physician an idea of where your uh, signal is. And there's a vertebral and it's anti-grade. So we can conclude that there's a normal uh, carotid exam on the left and a totally occluded right internal carotid artery um, as evidenced by 2D color and uh, spectral Doppler. So those are the key points you want to look for in performing a carotid exam, particularly when you have a suspicion of a total occlusion.